Hello everybody. Welcome back to Mike's Microbe Peeps. Today we're going to be peeping at several vicious attacks that I have caught on camera. The first little monster that we're going to be talking about is Lacrimaria olor. Here you can see one inhabiting the empty carcass of a dead water flea. Check out how far he can stretch his neck while probing around for a victim. Oh look, a victim. <coughs> Did you see that? He just ripped the tail end right off that little ciliate. Watch what he does next. Now he has to work the little piece that he ripped off down his, let's call it a neck, and into the main body of the cell. As I was watching this, it sort of made me wonder, how long has he been inside the carcass of this water flea? Did he grow fat and happy while munching on the water flea's guts until he just couldn't fit out anymore? Or is he using the carcass as sort of a shelter, a defense from any threats from the outside? Whatever the reason he's in there, let's agree it's a cool sight, and let's just move on to our next predator. Our next little killer was once called Deleptus Anser. It has this long trunk-like appendage that it flails around while searching for prey. Watch what happens when it finds one. He just sucked that thing down like a barbecue meatball. I didn't understand why this guy was so uninterested in the little seed-shaped protozoa, but he really liked those big round grandinellas. The next attack that we're going to be looking at was completely caught by accident. I'm sorry about the blurriness, but I was just thinking about focusing in on this little gastro trick, and then this happened. <laughs> The cute little furry guy got eaten by some sort of flatworm. I think it might be some sort of species of stenostomum. Some have said it looks like a microscopic version of a crocodile, and I can't say that I really disagree with them. I mean, look at this thing. I'm sure glad they're on the microscopic scale and not something that I have to be worried about. Okay, our next little hungry guy is a Euplotes. And he's really an interesting looking one. Keep an eye on these two ciliates that come down from the top. <coughs> Correction, one ciliate. It seems like he's having a little bit of a difficult time getting this one swallowed down. While he's working on that, you might notice that it looks like Euplotes has legs. Well, those aren't legs. Those are called cirri. And cirri are thick tufts of cilia that they can actually use to crawl along the bottom. There you go. You got that thing down, little guy. Our next little beast is both a little bit frightening and super beautiful. Watch this. Colothica uses its cilia to create a current that pulls nearby prey into its waiting maw. I hope you've enjoyed our little safari today. If you have, please give this video a like, and I'd really love it if you could subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time on Microbe Peeps.